and the contrast with Mysore is colossal, overpowering. 8,000 feet up above the burnt grass of the plains, Uti was created by the British for themselves. It was hacked out from the Aboriginal jungle. Everything, the landscape, the plants, the trees, the people themselves, and the ideas, were imported, carried up the mountain. And the feeling created in the end was of Sussex or Hampshire, good eggs, and altogether a damn good show. When they had their own magazines to retreat to when times got tough, here's some advice to Charlotte in the home magazine. The magnificent Uti Club was the centerpiece of refined life in the golden days of soldiers and planters. Colonel Willis is the last permanent resident. The game of snooker was given its rules here by army officers like the colonel, and we arranged to play a very one-sided memorial match. Yes. I think you might have needed to be Joe yeah. Davis to do that. Left to you. How long were no, you on the uh, five div staff then? Two and a half years. Yes. And then uh, I went to Fourth Corps as DDS and T Fourth Corps. Did you miss uh, regimental soldiering? I mean, uh, well, I think one misses the men. You know? Yes. Uh, nothing like the command of a regiment. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Well, I'm sorry about that. Right? No, that's right. Right. <laughs> I'm afraid you're up against the cushion. Though. And has it been pleasant the time here? Oh, very. Oh, yes. One. We've got lots of servants, you know. Ah! Oh, ah. that's rather unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> that's very Still. unfortunate. I'll give, I'll give you four of them. <laughs> now, <laughs> what's next? Brown. Brown, yes. Now, that's this, well, I think this is a rather difficult one. What do you feel about India after all these years, then? Uh, well, mixed. Uh, good shot. Mixed feelings. Yes. Uh, a lot of good, and uh, I'm afraid uh, a lot, I think, has changed. Yes. I wouldn't say for the better. Yes. Which is unfortunate. Oh, it's not a very no. good time. Yes. Ah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How long did you work at the club? Uh, About 15 years. Uh, yes. In the great uh, days? Yes, yes, that's a very fine day. So we used to have two times a dance in Muti Club. And uh, Wednesday night, uh, supper and dance, yeah. with the lawn shoots. And Saturday night, we used to have a dinner close with the dinner. With the full dinner and dance. black tie and so Yes, yes. yes. And uh, midnight supper, we used to have a sausage and mash, all these things. Sausage and mash? Yes, yes. And what, what was the favorite drink, drink do you think? Uh, the most popular drink? Mostly scotch. Mm. Scotch and uh, cognac brandy. And we used to have uh, champagnes yes. and uh, wines. Can I have a gin and ginger beer then, please? Yes, sir. Certainly, sir. Which gin you prefer, sir? Blue ribbon or boots? No, that looks good. Is that English gin? No, Indian gin, but oh, it's uh, English collaboration. So. Oh, I see. And these sausage and mash suppers, do you remember those well? Yes, yes, sir. Midnight supper. Yes. You think your children know what sausage and mash is? No, 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 sir. They don't know, sir. But does that make you sad? Which one? Yes, yes, sir. Definitely. <laughs> It was a tremendous and touching achievement to have created all this from nothing. By a casual stroke of history, both the church and this hotel were built from beams torn from Tipu's palace on the faraway Kovri River. But the smaller elegances of the hill stations are the ones that stick in your mind. The flowers the bungalows of the decent types and stout fellows, whose history is in their modest lifestyle 
and in what seems nowadays a wry, rather self-effacing public life. For Uti, as Colonel Willis implied, has changed. It'll never revert to jungle, for the servants and bearers of the British have long ago found themselves another niche. But from a hill station, it's become only a town at the top of a mountain. For sentimentalists, there's just one star attraction remaining. They come from all over the world to see this train run. I was told that, had I been a week earlier, I could have met some really knowledgeable spotters from Derby who didn't just hang their heads out the window. Every nut and bolt of this loco has its own poet. It's reckoned to be a wonder, the Nilgiri Express. The line took 17 years to construct and put the first company to try it into the bankruptcy course. At first, it seems just like toy time, not a real train at all. But then at Kunor, the engine engages a rack and goes onto air compression brakes. For in the next few miles, the gradient's one in 12 as the train plunges back into the valley floor. Come on, hold on, I'm not ready for. 